Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Oh, they didn't have the jingle here. The heck. Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Yeah, why is that? I don't know. Maybe they only saved it for when you get out of the ship. Like, that's the most important part. No one cares about the save rooms that are actually in the planet anymore. Ew. Well, that leads me to believe that that's Samus's personal OST going off from her ship. Well, they used to be, you know, really elaborate, nice-looking save rooms, and now it's just a room. I just like, don't have to have one of these. God, Retro's fallen off. They were just last minute put in. Jeez. What are they even doing? Hopefully, still doing work and not getting shit cans from behind the scenes. Shit! Oh. Ah! There's no way to save it, is there? Uh, what do you mean? Like rehook? Because I saw the the thing came up for you to rehook it. I don't think it'll work that way. Also, loving how they go through you. Fantastic. And it's. I mean, it is a shooting gallery. What are you gonna do? Just you know. Hang here and just right on the on the zip line. It's boring. I would kind of love to see this in VR. I would immediately get motion sick, but man, I would love to see this. Prime VR would be neat. Ship status alert. Especially with the grapple. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. What? Who, who's attacking my ship? Someone's attacking my ship? Oh, someone's gonna get a real big thrashing. I don't fucking think so. Not gonna leave me stranded on this deserted fucking ghost town of a research facility went the wrong way. I could find the motherfucker, I guess. But <laughs> no way you're gonna leave me stranded here on this. I, I gotta get back to my ship. Oh my, oh my god, I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. The assailant sees you from the security camera, just going, "When I find you, I will destroy your every b piece of being." Got a kinetic lock here. When did that get there? It's always been here. Oh. Just couldn't do anything with it until now. Get me back to my ship. And this unlocks something we've never seen before. Yeah, uh, okay, it's a half pipe. <laughs> I've never seen a walkway before. Oh, a half pipe. Okay. It is a half pipe. See. So I scan it <laughs> an and an say actual, it's a half pipe. An actual logbook for a half pipe. I love it. So I mean, that means the Chozo invented the halfpipe so they could do sick tricks that w that uh, the holders would speak of. Ooh, okay, new lock type. You twist it here, and then there, and then there. Actually, love that. Let's like see lock picking lawyer take care of that lock. Yeah, and he's already done it. D uh, oh, oh. oh, well. This cheap lock used to only be $49.99, but now they're charging an arm and a leg for it since it's gone out of style. All you really need is just a good thwack on the side. And it's open. I still love the video you showed me of the, the gun locker with no <laughs> actual lock. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, we have a gun lock here. We can lock up tightly. And there's some other issues here, but here's a big one. He just removes the handle. <laughs> So, there's a big issue There's here. a big and, issue here. And what do, yeah. <laughs> Fire me out of the cannon. And... I'm coming, <laughs> ship! Ugh. Ow. Yeah, see? Smashing right into a protective wall, that's, that's still gotta scramble your head a little bit, right? Chozo suit. She can handle it. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Chozo technology is the end-all be-all. Well, look! Look at all this does! Look at all the influence it's had over the universe! Hey, boys. Get out of here. Get out of here. And you also get out of here. I really should be using missile. Get Sa out of here. What's Samus' canonical height in the suit? 6'3". Those things must be like 7 feet tall! The Chozo are very tall, themselves. They got a little something up here. A giant weather vane. What? Ship priority status alert. Yes, I know. Uh, I know, I know, I know. It's. <sighs> Stop blowing holes in my ship. Boy, it is trying hard to pierce through. It's it's breaking through the hole and everything. Oh man, come on. 
but I really, I really got to get this. It's going to help us uh, with, with, with that. Another free tank. This is, what are you talking about? This is the most expensive E-Tank we've had yet. We've actually had to go out of our way to get it. <sighs> Maybe that's why I like this game so much, because it was easy. Because they kept giving me E-Tanks. It was, it was almost simple. Though so I'm realizing maybe the reason why I beat it was because it really was handholdy. I didn't really understand Metroidvanias, I didn't have the, the mindset for them yet. Which is why I never beat Prime 1, never beat Prime 2, but beat Prime 3. And now I've kind of found my opinions on the Prime series have like reversed. Now I think like Prime 2 is the best. I don't know, we played Prime 2 last year, I was like, I, I really love this game, it's really, really good. From what I've seen, that's not a normal take to have. I know. But it is a take that some people have. I I support Echoes. I really love Prime 2. I think just playing over again and knowing what to do and kind of understanding the some of the decisions behind it. And also realizing that they did it in like 18 months. They did real, real great work. But now I'm like, well, uh, this this game is so linear. I mean, am I gonna enjoy this in the same in the same way? And Oh yeah, it's still great. Are you kidding me? It still works. We're doing so many badass things. How can anybody be mad at that? How can anybody can you know you know just you know, suck on the corn cup pipe and hmm yes you know well you know uh, the the the, uh, the freedom of the player has been reduced in order to make the main character look good and get off of my ship! Hey, hey! Don't you get off the get? Oh my god, I'm gonna beat I'm gonna beat the world. Give me a, I'm gonna beat the hell of it. Hell no! Hell no! You get off my goddamn ship, you motherfucker! God damn it! Ah! What's this asshole doing to my ride? Oh man! You still couldn't destroy it, could you? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, come on, man! Go into go into idle mode. Don't you? Soon everything will be corrupted, including you. Bet. Look, I know it's it's you talking, Dark Samus, but for now let's go ahead and scan Gore here. So he has a shield that is an everything-proof shield, but we can go ahead and shoot this fuel gel with ice missiles, and he'll slip on that, and we can <laughs> shoot him in the back. Fantastic. And then we can shoot him in the face a whole bunch. Fantastic. Get a shield back up. I love that. I love that he has to Looney Tunes, like, trip on frozen liquid. You see, that's Dark Samus' problem here. Gore, to me, seems like a more, uh, tactically minded kind of guy. You know, he, he like, avoids conflict. He, he, he uh, makes might over right, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, also... But, but Dark Samus doesn't recognize that. Well, she also has tunnel vision directly at you. <gasps> Yeah, she's like, big, big, big angry robot guy, rawr! That doesn't really help too much. <laughs> Playing with the toys. <laughs> yeah. I want to destroy Samus, rawr! That's why compared to Rundus, this guy's piss easy. All right, phase two. He's, well, at least he's smart. Again, he's smart. Now the field gel's not a thing we're going to worry about anymore. But his shield is also done, but uh, at uh, your, uh, your zip, uh, your, your, uh, your oh. full doink is there. Oh god, oh god, camera. You ruined it. You ruined it, camera. You absolutely... What the hell is it trying to do? Alright, so, uh, you, you gotta boost under his legs when his, um, area is exposed. Ah! Oh! That was pretty great. And there, just like that. Okay. And, that and that makes sense. You tripped my trigger! How could you? <laughs> that was below the belt! <laughs> ah! Seriously, now I'm just imagining Samus going for the punching bag. <laughs> Speed bag is bag. Phase three. Oh, great. Well, one in Rome. Yeah, I'll do that with you. Oh, it's not doing. Oh, there it is. It's doing it. I just don't think I'm hitting him in the right place, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now he's out of hyper mode, but I've got plenty to spare, and he's on the rope, so I'm gonna just gonna dump everything into. Why am I not hitting his head? Come on. Go again, come on. Die, perish, fall. What are you doing? There. Like, 
Go Gore. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Shit, here's Dark Samus. I don't I don't think so. Hey you bitch! Hey, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Let him go! No! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Damn it. Well, Drade is the only one left. Well, at least we got the plasma beam. Now, Prime 3 does something very, very good a lot of fans are happy about. Beam stacking. Oh, finally. So now you have the power of the regular blaster as well as plasma beam. It's just the plasma beam now. Oh, man. Scratch the paint. You really fucked it up with smoking and everything. Uh huh? Ship? Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay? I don't believe him. Well, our ship is indeed damaged. We cannot enter it at all. So we're stuck here on this planet. We, we are stuck here on this planet, and remember how long it took to repair our damages from Prime 2? The entire game, if memory serves. We're gonna be here forever. Alright, we got the plasma beam, so we can melt this, uh, bit of rubble here. Oh, dude! This is what, this is what the plasma beam does. The plasma beam is great! I love beam stacking, it's the best thing that Metroid can ever do. Oh, man! Endless power. This is why Samus can't be stopped. Ooh. Samus can't be fooled either. Ta-da! Oh! Love it. That was probably one of my favorite aspects from Metroid Fusion, Super Metroid. You know, you get the ice beam, but it mixes with your plasma and your wave beam, and it's... Oh, it's good. Every, pass, every press of the B button just vomits death. These guys are easy. We got the uh, Elysian Shriek Bats. Now please, vomit all over them. Yeah! <laughs> this is what we're gonna use to fix the Aurora unit. You say fix, but we have just a matter-melting beam attached to our right arm. You sure that's the proper word? Oh, come on. You saw that one episode of, of Avatar The Last Airbender, didn't you? When they go to that fire mountain and learn about the secret of firebending? Yes, yes. See, fire does more than just destroy, it can create. In fact, this fire, in particular, is going to do more than just... It's going to bring together. It's going to unite this one. Basically, it's going to weld. Yes. Perfect. Or solder. And these things just kind of melt. Oh, Jesus. I mean, the only thing missing is the bot saying, No, please. Anything but this. We did not program them to speak. Probably for the best. Probably only the first can speak, I bet. No, please. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Actually, a great effect. Good job, Retro. No, 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 please, 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 please. These things are still avoiding my shots pretty good. And they still have taken pot shots at me. <clears throat> Just, uh, there we go, there we go. It's easier to go around here the second time around because we got all these orb cannons, we got the boost ball and all that. But there's still some backtracking we gotta do here and there. I think I gotta go through here. Jump on over to this section over here, but fortunately... <gasps> oh, what's in here? Cannon? Let's bypass all that. Yes! Alright, fire! Skadoosh. Uh... Skid ah! oh! There was a scene transition in there! We are extremely far away. I think we're right here. No, wait, not yet. Almost there. Almost. Right where, 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 where the steam, the uh, steam lord was.
Mm. I'm glad you can't melt the little lore bots. That oh. would make me sad. Oh, we are here. Oh, it just... It really just did take us right Alright, let me melt it your did. face on. <laughs> it, it, it did. There's a little error on my, on my map where I put it in everything. Alright, go back down here into the maintenance shaft and try and fix everything that Gore messed up. Just go to one of these panels here. And just... Yeah. Oh, that's great. Perfect. That is great. It actually is a soldering iron. And... Oh, oh, oops, oh. oops. Gotta hold on. Yeah. Just remember, if you let go of the soldering, the welding goes away. And... and... <laughs> That's so good. Alright, all fixed. The big Cthulhu brain can talk again. The internet's back. All right, now let's see if we can figure out what to do next. My ship broke, what do? Thank you, Samus. We have restored our connection to Skytown's network. Now we can execute our plan to destroy the Leviathan. All right, what do you got for me? We must first disable the Leviathan's protective shield. Right. Unfortunately, the generator for this shield is hidden beneath the dense clouds of Elysia, and so it's impossible to reach directly. Sure, yeah. As an alternative to destroying the generator, we have calculated that a massive thermal nuclear explosion... <gasps> oh! Ah! Uh, a nuke! This facility possesses the components to create such a device. We would like you to build this device. And drop it on the Leviathan shield. Aha! Uh -huh. Drop a nuke on a shield. The components are too large okay. for you to lift unaided. You will need assistance to move and assemble them. Sounds like another there upgrade for our ship. Landing site far to the east of oh, Sky Federation Tower. landing site. Yep. Be able to find something to help you there. Maybe we can't we uh, leave the planet yet. Maybe we can move our ship over there for some upgrades. This should help you Get it all start. fixed up. Yeah. Maybe repair it in the meantime. Yeah. Yes! The map! <laughs> God, the fanfare kicked in in high gear for that one. Sorry, we were very pleased that you found the map, but we kind of explored most of it already. I mean, just these few rooms are left, but so thanks for nothing, I guess. Da -da 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 Thank you, computer. You just Thank got you. The map. Right. Oh, okay. Where do we go next? Uh, all, right, all right. Okay. Okay, all right. So, there is a Federation landing site to the east. We're gonna head there, maybe fix our ship, get some upgrades, and build this thermonuclear device to drop on a Phazon shield. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It was so nonchalant, too. It's like, oh yeah, a giant uh, th thermonuclear, there we go, device. Yeah, just drop that on the shield, and it'll take out the Leviathan. Ship status update. Auto repair function is complete. <sighs> okay. But Ship is ready for Go use. ship! I think after Prime 2, she's like, Yeah, no, I'm gonna get the premium package on that auto repair function, if you don't mind. Yeah, thanks. That'll be, uh, 300 extra credits, but for you, only, uh, five. There you go. What'll 300 extra credits get me, then? Uh, probably a bottle of Coke. Well, give me that bottle of Coke, then. You got it, hon. Spare no expense, detective. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the orange shield. Gotta scan for that. Oh, plasma only. What the... What... What's all this now? Dark Samus installed giant, nasty mirrors. <sighs> Wall jump time! Can't do it! Oh. Samus, perhaps what you require to access the Federation landing site in the east is not on this planet. Oh, yeah? The item you need may reside on the Oh! Alright! All right. I think it's time to get to the Metroid part of Metroid Prime. What do oh, you say? Oh, really? It's we have to go back? We're gonna go to another planet. Because now that we have the plasma sh the, the plasma beam, well, plasma beam especially, we can now get a special item to help us move on. The wall jump? Or the screw attack? Well, let's focus on the here and now. Okay. And clear away the slag, but first we'll go ahead and get this lock here. 
clack, clock. See, with the simple Chozo beam, I can easily open this lock. Chozo were ahead of their time, creating skate parks and all that, dude. Get through here, very nice tube here, so... Are you just going back? Oh, no, you're not. Whoa. Whoa, what's that? Never seen that before. Lady, you're on TV. Nito. That was cute. Little camera bot just doing his job. Oh, hey! We got more ship missiles! Jesus. Sorry that we had to put you through that old shippy boy. Here's some missiles. Just pet it a little bit. Clang, clang. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, my ship purred. Yeah, I gotta pull a little, little something in the engine for that one. A couple there. extra scratches. There we go. Oh, we're back. Oh, more lore! <laughs> Oh, that was plasma! <laughs> Alone. Oh, this is gonna make me depressed. In the year 400 of Elysian Reckoning, the time for our chosen creators to leave had arrived. To us, they entrusted the station and its purpose. We were to stand vigil and watch over the station until the time when others seeking knowledge and enlightenment arrived. With their departure came one last request from the Chozo Searcher, to continue exploring the skies for the answers to the mysterious planet. We gave her our word and resumed her tireless search. Day after day, we hunted for the answers. Well, long story short, they failed. They perished before they could ever find the mysteries of the planet Elysia. Oh! Cellus, the security locks have been engaged on this landing site. Seems like it. This was surely a result of Gore's recent activity. put a hat on it. I will unlock this area, allowing you to command your ship to land. Oh my god, it's like 10 degrees cooler under here. Wow! Huh. That's pretty nice. I don't know, I like the sun roof. Go ahead and put that down. Boop. That easy, huh? <laughs> That's my favorite part of these retro-made uh, Metroid games. There was stuff going. Yeah. <laughs> everything clicking into place. That's so cool. Yes, Good stuff. That is lovely. Love it. Hey, ship. How you doing? So look at that. We did an entire game's worth of damage and disrepair fixed in not even ten minutes. That's one of the many innovations of the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> That's right. The larger disc size gives us the ability to have better uh, auto repair features. All right, any idea where to go? Uh, I'm assuming the first planet. Because Nor I said we needed to go back to a place. Norian? Yeah. Why there? Because I said we had to. No, it didn't. It says it's, it's on a planet, not on this one. How about we go to the place where Rundus was? Oh, you know. Oh, sorry, that's what I meant. You know, Brio. Brio. Because I said go back to a previous area, so I assume they were talking about this place. See, the thing about Brio is that it's got a bunch of ice everywhere. Still left over from Rundus. So we can use a plasma beam to melt some of that ice. Oh my god. Yeah. I hope that planet's okay with it. But I have a feeling they are. I feel like whoever's left is too violent and angry to say anything otherwise than Brah! We can work with that. Yeah, I think we can. <laughs> See, we're not so alone in this Metroid game, because we've got, like, you know, handlers and people uh, talking with us and friends. I mean, we're getting more and more alone as we have to kill the corrupted versions of our fellow bounty hunters. It's true. It's but sad. It is, isn't it? That's the evil of the of the phase on here. The corruption. Maybe maybe Gandreda has a chance. You know? Yeah, right. Oh, sorry. I just I just don't have faith that Gandreda would not be immediately consumed by the ick. Oh come on. It's not like she's trying to be better than us in any way. Uh... <laughs> Damn it! They probably bonded on how much they hated me, her and Dark Samus. And have you ever seen her ass, like, move over oh, everyone else? God, My I know. God! It's like a dump truck, jeez! <laughs> and not in a good way! I mean, I, I, you, you know she's never had a boyfriend. Oh, I can totally imagine that! At that moment when I when I was part of her in that phase on suit, by the way, worst 20 minutes of my entire life being, being attached to that whore. Jeez. 
But she ne never had a boyfriend in all of her life. I mean, she's got big daddy issues, but ugh. It's just thinking, it's, it's always Adam, 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 but it's never like, how about the mission there, hon? I know. Well, it's good talking with you, Doc Samus. <laughs> Grand Trader, you sound weird. Who are you, who, who are you being there for a moment? Go on, go on. <laughs> All right, uh, this is kind of weird. You got, got I got a boosted, oh. but, uh. Oh, did you just? Yeah, I did. Ah! 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 Anger. Actually, no, that was just burning hatred. Big steaming Woo! Angie. Ugh. Now let's not degrade ourselves to big steamy Angie. And big stinky Angie. Ah! Yeah. Whoa. It's the kind of anger where you just go. <laughs> just turn red. <laughs> <laughs> It's like somebody took your juice box. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know! I, I, I can't even see where you're aiming for. It, it's another, like, exposed pipe you're supposed to latch onto. I, I don't know. It's Doesn't need blasted from the ground floor? Or? Between, like, you have to have the gas blast and a boost to get through it. Mm. It's weird. Yeah, it's not like this is the way forward or anything. We're just going to an optional area, really. But hey, I like getting stuff. I like getting stuff too. Hey, See, that, that, there that we did, go. I didn't need a boost that time. I don't know what I don't know what I did wrong. Whatever. Damn it! I d I'm so relieved. I didn't even scan the damn door behind me. Well, yeah, scan That's it. That's right. A Brionian orange door, and we got some more lore. There's bonus lore. I know. Ow. Do you mind? Do you mind? I'm trying to read. Prophecy. As time slowly passed, I grew old. Even the combined power of magic and science couldn't cheat death forever. In order to preserve Brio's environment, I would need a successor. Finding what was a daunting task for most of the folks saw me as a monster. Time passed quickly as I searched and my efforts appeared to be in vain. Seemingly by chance, I found a young primal wandering the wastelands and rescued her. But this was not a chance encounter. She was a prophetess, tirelessly searching for the last lord of science to speak to her, to, to, to speak about her visions. In her dream, she saw a starborn death coming to Brio, and with her vision came a plea to save her world. Based on her information, I began work on improving the existing decademy equipment to help prepare a defense for Brio against the eventual catastrophe. Oh no! Did this primal prophetess see the coming of the Leviathan? And nobody listened. Nobody ever listens. Ooh. How long has Phazon been around? Since the dawn of time. This is an upsetting room. Because of the giant rock, or...? Because of the teeth, and the, uh, the, the flesh, and the tiny holes, and it just... It looks like that if I, if I poked it, it would go... Can you poke it? I, I, see I don't want to poke. I mean, I shot at it. It, it didn't do anything. Okay, so maybe okay. it's like long, decayed flesh or whatever. Okay, okay. You get out of here, but I can't forget <laughs> this. The missiles in this game kind of suck. I know you missed it by a mile. It's like they don't lock on in the way that beams lock on. Come here, guys. Come right, here, guys. Come, come here, guys. On, guys. Yeah. This still looks really weird. It's like Samus grew corn kernels. Well, and somehow makes her float. Time to make some popcorn. Ew! It's all over me. Yeah, it's just slowly... Uh... Oh! Oh! This place is frozen off pretty good. Hmm. What could this be? Got a golem here. Uh, save a little bit of time and just shoot this ice first. Oh, move the gong? Sound the gong! Oh. That was very fluid. I loved it.
That was a lovely sound, but uh, we kind of want to move forward here. So we'll spin until we get to an open spot here. What's over there? I want something cool! That looks like something cool! Can we get it? Can we get it? What, 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 what is it? I want it. I want it. Is it like a suit upgrade? The or void! A... <laughs> you having a brain blast? It's a warp! Those exist here? We're in a different part of the planet now. This is Brio Ice. Huh. That's actually really cool. Just in a completely different area. I think this is an excuse to use their Fendrana assets. Hey, that's okay. Ooh, there's even lore here. Our plea. Hmm. Sadly, disaster came to us before we could finish our work. An accident caused our supply of fuel gel to explode, sending fire to the sky and exposing our position. It was not long before primal war bands saw the great fire and rushed to attack. Without a way to, p to power my great Moegnars, I had no way to defend myself. Fleeing would only drive them to pursue us to no end, and they would show no mercy to either one of us once caught. I had no other choice except to stand my ground while the prophetess fled to safety. You now read my last words etched in stone and placed by the prophetess. We spoke to you from beyond the grave to plead with you. Save our world from the starborn plague. Lift the veil of hate from our eyes of our people. May our remaining relics serve you well in this struggle. Ooh, something good in here, huh? Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Jack! What was that about? Adam, is that you? He's still alive here, but I don't think he's re she's really thinking about him. Because I don't know why he ne never really thought about him until now. Until like, gimme, 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 gimme. What's gimme, this gimme, now? gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> this is an early screw attack if I've ever seen one. No kidding! And it is the screw attack! Yeah! Awesome! Okay, it's space jump and screw attack at the same time. Yes. Okay. It's like B, B, and then B. I was just thinking, I was like, you haven't gotten space jump yet. We've had space jump since the start. Okay. Wait, really? Yeah. Hmm. They, they let us have space jump and uh, charge beam, morph ball, morph ball bomb. How does it feel compared to the other ones? About the same. Okay. You get five jumps. And wall jumping works a lot better. Just kind of press B and there you go. So much better. Oh my god, so much better. Here we go. We have learned how to climb walls. See, that sounds a lot like, uh, Aurora 217. I was about to say, what does it say when put in reverse? It just sounds like gibberish, and, you see, that's me learning that you only have oh. five... <clears throat> five screw attack jumps there. And, oh, well... Oh, well... And only so much time to jump on the hand! Land, <laughs> and then go again. It looks like you're about to slip right off. See, that's what I would expect. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> you know what I really like? Hmm. To use screw attack, B. No motion controls. That feels nice. I think on a lesser or indeed a later Wii game, they would have had you do motion controls. Other M would have had you do motion controls. That just has to feel great. Because I'm visualizing me holding a Wiimote and just going B, 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 and it's like, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Feels good. I think I think it works better on the wall jump. Because when you're when you go into this these panels in a screw attack, it locks you in saying, okay, gotcha. 
We're doing a wall jump now. That's lovely. Oh, and we're heading back. Yep, just did a big old loop. We'll be back there later, though. Samus, you just entered a portal to hell! Well, hell froze over, Chief. See you next time. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we know what to do now. Yeah. Is this all we came here for, by the way? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. And now, is there anything else on this planet? Well, uh, not right now. Uh, okay, so we will have to be back at least one more time. Yeah, we will. We will indeed. All right, well, for the time being, Screw Attack is nice. Yes. Screw Attack is very nice. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, going the wrong way. There are some important new Tell me about him. A reconnaissance probe has discovered the location of the missing flagship bomb. Oh. As I am sure you are aware, this vessel was attacked by pirates five months ago. Yeah, away. tragedy. We request that you investigate the Paul Hollow for any information about the pirates and their master plan. We will upload the coordinates to you now. Yeah, so they they found where the wreckage of that training mission was. It's right, Ooh. it's right over here. Okay. In the, in the Gaflar system. In the GFS Valhalla. This is where they sent Gandreda. Oh, no. But we're not done doing what we're doing right now, though. Right. So are we going to go see Gandreda, or are we going to clean up what we're already working on? Well, I mean... Oh, wait, okay, okay, hang on. Careful. Careful. And... Easy. Got him. Easy. Brionian Shriek Bat. Ah! No, totally worth it. All right, now we're all caught up, I think. I love how you actually had to sneak up on them. I'm glad you knew where they were going to be. <laughs> See... We don't really know to the... We don't need to go to the Valhalla until, like, towards the end of the game. We're not there yet. We have another Leviathan to take care of. Drop everything and go to the Valhalla? Really? Seems like a distraction tactic. It does seem like a distraction tactic. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but... We're gonna put that on the back burner for now, then. I mean, it's good you found the Valhalla. I mean, if Gandreda's right fucked, she's not gonna get more unfucked by the time I get there, so... <laughs> now we're going back to Elysia. We're gonna go complete that loop in our mind. Those panels with the screw attack and the landing site and all that. Gonna check that out. See you next time!